Samuel Bamford was a working class radical reformer who was present at the Peterloo Massacre on the 16th of August 1819. Although there is no evidence he participated in any violence, he was arrested 10 days later for high treason, found guilty of inciting a riot and sentenced to prison for one year. Bamford petitioned both Houses of Parliament, asking for his version of events to be heard. This is his petition presented to the House of Lords on the 19th of November 1819. Bamford outlines that it was his belief the meeting was entirely legal and that he was amply protected by the laws in exercising all those rights of a free man which the Constitution has conferred upon him. He further insists that the crowds had no intention of breaking the public peace, pointing out their indubitable pledge of their sincerity and sense of security by taking in their company their wives and female relatives. Here, he begins his account of what happened that day. He points out that the flags and music that accompanied the crowd, which were interpreted by magistrates as having threatening paramilitary connotations, were actually in line with local customs for similar processions. Indeed, here he describes them as intending to confer cheerfulness and hilarity. Bamford also describes the charge of the cavalry, who sabred, rode down and trampled upon every individual who could not escape them by which, as your petitioner believes, several hundred unoffending persons were severely wounded and some killed on the spot. As the crowd sought to escape from this continued, persevering and unrelenting outrage, they were driven one upon another, so as in some cases to press each other to death, break the limbs of others and occasion many to be trampled upon. According to his autobiography, the attention that was excited in the London press by his petitions led to others doing the same. The Committee of the Manchester Relief Fund, which was set up to provide the relief for the injured and the families of the dead, arranged for other injured parties to petition. In 1819, at least 15 petitions were presented to the House of Commons from persons present at the massacre, and a further 71 in May 1821. There was never a parliamentary inquiry into the Peacefully Massacre, but petitions asking for one continued until at least 1832.